I'm here with Susan, who is one of our um, community members. Thank you, Susan, for being here. I'm so excited to chat with you today. And I think um, it's so helpful for potential students and even potential clients to hear you know, what it's like to work with me and what it's like to be in the community. So um, I'll just hand it off to you and maybe ask, what was your first impression? I'm curious to hear if there was anything that stood out to you. Um. You know, I just see you as a uh, an exquisite professional in everything that you do. Um, you know, your energy is very calming. Um, you have a very in-depth uh, approach to listening to what people are saying. Uh, not every coach is, is that way. Sometimes they want to jump to how they can solve a problem or whatever. And so, right. you know, you've got a more relaxed approach um, and you're, you're, uh, Career has uh, intrigued me uh, with, you know, how you started out um, in in doing one thing and then realized, you know, for the betterment of either your health or your mm -hmm. career or, you know, your mm -hmm. desire to travel that you needed to shake things up. And so always reinventing yourself was something that I, you know, admire and I feel like I do the same thing. Thank you for saying that. That's an interesting, uh, interesting um, tidbit that nobody else, I think, has brought up. But I really uh, like hearing that because that's true. Uh, I feel like um, a lot of entrepreneurs sometimes are afraid of change, you know, and that's something that I definitely feel like I'm not. Um, and I don't want my students or anybody in my community to be afraid of change either, because I feel like that's that's just how things go. That's just how life goes. You that's know? life. That's, yeah. You can't really, <laughs> you know, you have to be adaptable. And I think as a business owner too, like your situation changes. Like when I started my business, my daughter was a baby and she's now, you know, almost out of the house and I can work significantly more now than I could when she was a baby. Yet maybe I don't want to for other reasons. Like there's your needs change. And as you as, as your needs evolve, you know, um, you have to kind of adapt your business. Um, so that's, that's kind of interesting to hear that that's something that you kind of, um, Oh yeah. I picked towards. up on it. Yeah. It, I, I immediately saw how you, you know, and, and, you know, I'm also in your quarterly, um, what do they call it? Coaching. The quarterly planning. Yeah. Yeah. The planning. Yeah. yeah. And, and that was a, a really, um, wonderful experience. I, I've, I've done two quarters now with you and, you know, looking back on where you're at and where you want to go is not always the easiest for you to do, you yeah. know, self-reflection, that's that whole thing. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but you make it fun and, uh, doing it with others has really opened my eyes to a lot of the things I need to do. <laughs> so and you realize you're you know, not alone. Yes. And you realize you're not alone. Yeah. It, we're all doing the same thing at different levels and different timing. Uh, yeah. but, uh, you know, we all have to uh, accomplish our goals at some point or we're not going to be in business. Exactly. Yeah. And your goals change and sometimes they need to change. Right. Uh, cause there's a seasonality to, to everything. Like we just had actually one of our community members, um, have a bit of a health scare, unfortunately this season, and she's not going to be able to do the same thing. She, you know, did last season and she's not going to be able to have the same goals that she had planned on having and all of that. Like if you're, um, you know, in business long enough, then things are going to, you know, things are going to happen and you need to evaluate where you are and what you need at, at any given time, you know, and it could be totally different one quarter, you know, to the next. Um, and that's why I love quarterly planning. And I actually love doing all these reflection routines because it's like that snapshot in time you know, that you get. And sometimes the answers, they kind of uh, it, um, surprise you a little bit. Right. Well, it's sort of, I, you know, I've never been a, a daily journal person. Um, I have gone in spurts where, you know, on my bookshelf, I can find these nice journals I bought, bought with the, att the attempt to, uh, you know, reflect on what's going on. Yeah. But I, I consider quarterly planning sort of that, you know, instead of reflecting on your life, you're specifically reflecting on your business and, mm -hmm. um, you are capturing what's going on in that moment in time. Mm -hmm. And, and so that, that'll be interesting for me to look back at um, and see, you know, where I'm at or was and, and how far I've come even in another year. So. Yeah. 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 That's interesting. And um, I also want to thank you for pointing out the whole um, 
calm vibe um because I feel like I've worked very hard uh, like when somebody comes into my world I want it to be stress-free like I want it to feel like they came into this bubble oasis of like just like huh, just calmness uh kind of a little bit shielded from the outside world if that makes sense Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited that you kind of picked up on that too. So thank you for saying that. Cause that is something that we definitely strive to maintain is that whole, um, no stress or calm, uh, no panic type of right. environment for people. Cause I feel like a lot of our clients come in with all of these things, like, you know, uh, pouncing on them, you know, in their right. other well, in, outside. Right. So I don't want you to start contribute it to that. When you start a business, it's like drinking from a fire hose yeah, and, right. you know, it raises your anxiety and then your work is all that you think about. And, you know, you got to uh, trudge through some of the ups and downs of of what's yeah. going on. Um, and so it's nice to come into this environment with you and, and uh, you know, feel yeah, like you've got your arms wrapped around us. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more like breathing space yes. or yeah, like we we're not going to panic. We're just going to kind of calmly look at what's going on and figure out a yeah. solution and move on and not like, ah, you know, I don't want to right. have any of that energy or contribute to that energy. And uh, in fact, I only bring on team members too, that I feel are going to be an asset in that respect. They're also very calm and steady and level-headed, you know, and I, I uh, work really hard to maintain that. So thank you for saying that. Um, any other sure. things you, you want to share before we wrap up? Um. No, I just feel like if you are looking for um, a, a coach, a trainer, um, you know, a, a mentor uh, in what we're we're doing um, and all the th services that Caroline offers, um, I suggest you highly check her out. Um, she has a lot to offer, and uh, I sure have appreciated the time that I've I've had with you. And um, um, I'm still going through all those videos for digital photo organizing and, and picking up the gems I need. So yeah. I appreciate that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for, um, for being willing to share your experience. And I just, I think it's helpful for people to hear, you know, from real people. That's why I like to do these video, video interviews and not just put like a blank statement on the website. Cause it's just, they can see that you're a real person. Susan exists <laughs> and, and she's a, you know, she's a real person and a wonderful addition to our community. So thank you for being in the community and uh, yeah, hopefully you'll be there for many more years to come.